but it's best to learn. There we go. Hey! Um, okay. Hello, everyone. So we're in my kitchen today, and um, and my sister Carolyn's here today. I'm the other farmer's daughter. <laughs> well, the same farmer, different daughter. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um. So today we're going to be pickling some peppers. And um, no peters were hurt in this pickling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so we've got we've got everything okay. here we need, and we just wanted to what you need to share with y'all how we're going to pickle our peppers. Um, we plan on pickling a few things today. Gonna come we've got a ton of tomatoes. We're sitting here looking at a whole ta whole table of them. What's up, kiddo? He wants some water. Go ahead and get some water. I told him there's a cup on the counter. I think right there. Okay. So we're going to start with um, the jars that we're using. So you can use a regular mason jar, standard lids, standard lid, ring, jar. You can buy these anywhere pretty much. Um, but I like to use these. I've kind of already started peeling the label, label off. But this is a Classico tomato sauce jar. Not tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce. Um, I've got kids in the other room enjoying their day too. Um, we're going to sterilize these and usually the label comes off when you sterilize them. But I'm going to use this for our pickled peppers today. And you can get these every time you go to the grocery store and shop for tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce. And before I moved from California, I think I had like 36, I had more than 36 of these. Um, and I gave them, I left them for a friend that was there that likes to can stuff. So, um, started my collection over, I've got about a dozen of these now. So we're going to use one of these today. The seal that it comes with, the seal that it comes with is perfect, it's still intact. So and we're you want us to make that. sure it goes the clicky clicky thing on top. Yep, you need the clicky clicky thing. So we're going to fill up. You want to do it? You want a bell, bell pepper? pepper? Hold on, we're going to get a kid a bell pepper. One that I've already bitten into, so it's all good. We've only <laughs> been eating it like an apple. <laughs> oh, I'm fine. He can't have all of it. This is oh. just a kid size piece. Well, that's true. There you go, kiddo. You can take the seeds out in the garbage. Yep, go put them in compost bin, okay. baby. Or, yeah, in the compost, sorry. It's going to have a whole what bunch of bell peppers growing in here. Alright, careful. Bye, big man. Alright, so we're going to fill this with water enough to just sterilize our jars in them. So basically boil them for about five minutes or so, and it kills all the germs, sterilizes them so that we don't have any bacteria, and we don't get botulism, and you know, we don't want all that diseases in our cupboards for a couple years. So, I don't think you can see her on the other side of the kitchen. Anyway, so the peppers that we're going to be pickling are what she grew in the garden. They are banana peppers. We have lots of different color, but we like our banana peppers because these are sweet. We like our banana pepper just a little bit spicy, so we're going to put a couple different types of little spicy ones in with it. And we are also going to pickle them a couple different ways, like these big long ones. These are a little too long for a jar, so we're going to cut them into little rings like you see in the store. And then these shorter ones, we're just going to clear out the guts and just pickle them whole because they're delicious like that, and you just eat them. Huh. Anyway. But yeah, aren't these so cute, delicious, little peppers? I'm not supposed to eat too many of them, but they're good. You need this deep oh. enough to cover the jars, right? Say hi, Dylan. Yeah. Is that delicious? Do I get a bite? No. I want one. You want one too? Oh, we're not going to have any more peppers left. Here. I don't like those. <laughs> Do you want a tomato instead, baby? A tomato. That's my baby back there. Hold on, baby. Here, 
mommy so take the stem off. We've got water in there. Um, so I remember Grandpa filling that up about a good three quarters halfway deep to the jar. Yeah. But we're not going to be filling it up all the way. Should I fill it up to the top of the jar? Yeah, they need to go like up over the jar so that it it basically will like pressure it almost without being a pressure cooker. So you fill it to where it'll go over the jar and maybe about that much or so an inch maybe and then when we uh, boil them the air in it will be sucked out through the top and when you take them out the little clicky thing the pressure point on the top won't be clicked yet and you set them down and, and within about an hour you'll start hearing popcorn everywhere because it'll seal itself so we're going to try and make sure that these all seal themselves because um, I cannot wait to use these in something. I love me some pickled peppers on pizza. Oh, oh, there we Just go. down a little bit so we can see our work area over here. Yeah, see, aren't these beautiful? Lots of different peppers. Oh, I feel really short in this chair. All right, so we're pickling these whole. Yep, just okay. cleaning out the guts of them. So this is what we're doing with the whole ones. We're just going to, you don't even need to run from the end down, just right about where the seeds come down to. Run it up, cut off the top, and we're just going to pull out, we're going to pull out the top. Do you want to help? He wants to pull the top out. Okay, so inside here, you see how there's all those seeds and this little brine this pulp thing that holds it all together you gotta pull all that out you want to do that over the trash can you good go take all the seeds or, or the, the compost, compost. Yeah, good idea go. that's man. a perfect idea come here here watch it right here we'll do it right here that way we can take one one trip to compost. one trip to compost right okay you idea. do your thing boy mm -hmm. i've had this chopping block a long time when i first got it it came with like little containers that sat in this opening so when you're done chopping you just scoop it on there but you, you know things just get old all and this worn you just out. pull it out see yep just pull it all out isn't that so easy um no because these are banana peppers they're a little sweet actually we just don't like to eat seeds do we yeah yeah not very fun and you know what all these seeds we're pulling out We'll go take them to dad and see if he wants to save them for next year. Yeah, you can go grow some more peppers next year. A whole bowl of seeds. A lot. A lot of peppers. And then we can make more pickled peppers next year. Isn't that great? <laughs> I'm going to chop the whole top of this one. So I'm make that too. We're making a seedy mess. Huh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about them being perfect because we're going to wash them. Yep. The thing I'm worried most about getting out is this little part. Do you know why? Connected to. Because this part, the little briny part right here, the little veins inside is bitter. Bitter. And it doesn't taste good like the other pepper. Like you can eat it, but it, it tastes a little more bitter than, oh, it's raining seeds. <laughs> there we go. Now, I don't recommend you gutting these ones, though, because then you you touch your face and you will cry. <laughs> so we might have to do these for you. Nice. So you're doing a great job part. on that pepper. Look at that. See that part? You don't even have to worry about getting the seeds out. If you can get this part out. Yep. And then the seeds just kind of just kind of flick your pepper a little bit, and it, they'll just fall right on out. I'm going to wash the rest of them out anyway. Good job. You need another one? Let me see. Yep. Oh, see, look. Beautiful. No seeds, no veins. You need another pepper now, huh? So you get my phone. It's right there. In the back, back. Right there, baby. Yep. Hello. Um, I'll answer that later. I'm not sure who that is. So they can leave a message. Alright, we're going to put a couple of these spicier peppers in there with it. 
um, just to make these a little spice to them. It won't be just wax peppers in this jar. It'll be a little bit spicy. It's going to be a sweet and su spicy pepper mix. Mm -hmm. Those? This one is a little spicy, and this one's a little spicy. Yeah, they just, there's a little bit spicier of a pepper. I tried a green spicy one. A green spicy one? Like yeah. a jalapeno? Because I know you got some of those in your garden. No, jalapenos are quite okay. delicious. They're not really... Excuse me? They're not really too spicy, unless you can't handle spice too well. Alright, so I think no. we're ready to go sterilize our jars. This one is really spicy. You tried one of those? Mm. Yeah, but ooh, that one's nice and dark red. We're going to put these ones in our other, in our sliced ones. Those aren't as spicy. Ooh. These, Ooh. these right here are spicy. I want to help Not too spicy. Though. Help cut. Let me see that one. We're not onto that batch yet. Alright, so that's that batch. Um, Back up, baby. Crowding my space here. I love you. Thank you for helping. Go hang out with, with everybody else for a little bit. He wants to cut. Maybe we can have him Hold come up. back in here and cut in a little bit. markings on this one. Yeah, that one's a pretty it was colored on. Anyway. So I'll probably fast forward. <coughs> that one's hot. <coughs> <coughs> out of the dicing that we just did. Um, <laughs> that pepper choked me up pretty good. Um, we're going to take you over in a second and we're going to show you what we do with our jars. Just sterilize them real quick. Um, then we're going to put our little mixture together. Actually, if you wanted to start measuring stuff out and get the... Um, Ooh, look how pretty those look. Those are pretty. You got these guys too. You want this measuring cup back? I might need it. Okay, so we're gonna do these guys in one jar and these in the other. So what we're gonna do for all these beautiful peppers? Yeah. And it smells good in here. Seriously. Yes, it does. So what we're gonna do for our brine? We're gonna do like half vinegar, half water, with a little bit of seasoning in it. Ooh, it smells like Easter. There's my one cup. Okay. But once it's boiling, it'll be perfect. We're gonna go ahead and do one batch at a time. Okay, and then. Our little seasonings, we're going to do, we're going to sweeten it with a little bit of honey. Just, we just have normal clover honey. Um, we have grinded uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. Yeah. You, so. 
everybody's canning nowadays. We had a lot of fun today trying to find some uh, canning salt. But uh, as long as you don't have iodine and a caking agent in it, you're good to use it. Yes. I you can't pronounce what the caking agent is called. It's some, it come, some, come some, up. Some, some, some starts with P and there's some S's in there. <laughs> um. <laughs> But there's, it's basically what the preservative is called, or the anti-caking agent, um, and it's in almost everything. If you want to use a salt to preserve your stuff, and you cannot find canning salt or preserving salt, um, you can just grind up some pink Himalayan salt. If you have a Ninja Blender, this is amazing. It turns it to powder. This is the result you get. So that's what we're doing. You can use kosher Amazing. salt as long as it doesn't have iodine yeah. or the caking. Uh, some of them do, some of them don't. Got to read the ingredients. And then uh, sea salt, usually if it's just pure sea salt, then it doesn't have any of that stuff in it. Yeah. Anyways, so I'm going to use some honey. And we need my measuring spoon. We, we need a tablespoon of honey. I don't want this to get all over me. You need some help. Yeah, my hands are not what they used to be. Mm, we can do this. Yep, that's good. Mm. Some of it's going to stick to the spoon. You need a little extra. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's good. Yum. A heaping tablespoon. Vinegar and honey. Well, that's pretty cool. We're totally experimenting with food. It looks like a pile of rice noodles. Yeah, so if you want to have some fun with your kids, this is a uh, pretty neat. Watching the honey fall to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, let me go over here and get these jars sterilized. Oh no, I have honey on my finger. Mm. Oh my god, that's good. Oh! Oh! Did you lick your finger? I licked my finger after I cut peppers. <laughs> oh, Sissy, I just did the same thing at the same exact time. Ooh. I just licked my fingers too. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. my gosh. Uh, oh. Uh. Which ones were really hot? This one. Oh. Okay, we're recording again. So, sorry if this video is going to be kind of chopped in half. Um, my camcorder died. So I feel like I'm gonna die. So um, you probably saw right before our camera died. We're over here dying from peppers. <laughs> the whole face is on fire. We actually had to take a little break because we were on fire. My nose was bleeding. I'm still. Whew, I don't want to touch anything. I cannot get it off my hands. We've already washed a bunch of times. Um, <laughs> I'm dying. Anyway, Ooh. we're gonna um, finish making this. Yes. Uh, um, so I, I was about ready to put some seasonings in this when all hell broke loose. I was on fire. Yep. Anyways, so we're gonna we're gonna put a teaspoon of these delicious basil leaves into our vinegar and honey okay and then we're going to put a teaspoon of oregano leaves dried oregano and then we are going to put a teaspoon of black peppercorns And that's our entire brine. Then we're going to go over to this pan over here. Mm. Had to figure out which spice the lid went to. Anyway. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so then we're going to go over and we're going to take our mixture of vinegar, water, honey, and spices and we're gonna warm it up and then we're going we're gonna add our peppers in it and we're gonna bring it to a roiling 
roaring, a rolling, I can't talk, a rolling boil so that, that it starts combining some of the uh, flavors and then we're going to put it in our jar. Uh, but first, she's going to show you how to sterilize the jars. Very important. Okay. And, um, Sissy, did you get the salt? Mm. We need... Thank you for reminding me. We almost me. forgot the salt. We would have forgot the salt. Ooh, it is. It's pretty cakey. Careful, yeah. it's dropping in there already. Yeah, it's... That's what happens when you grind your own salt. So anyway, she's going to get the salt in there. And we're going to put... Uh, and that'll uh, be complete. A tablespoon of salt. A tablespoon. I'm not going to lick it this time. Okay, and then I'm going to work on this. We're going to sterilize jars. We always have kids running around. Kids. Kids. Yeah, kids. I'm going to get it okay. in here. And then so you anyway, pour it, okay? jar. Boiling water. Pour it right I'm just going to stick it right down in there. I'm going to drop it on its side so it gets One boiled more. inside too. And one more. Ooh, mommy's face is still on fire. I'm going to do... One more. I'm going to do an extra Stop. one. the burning face. <laughs> I didn't know Mama was here. All right, and there we go. We've got three jars. Yeah, more Yeah. Ooh, you sterilizing some jars. Yeah. Yep. Nice. And I got a brine going. Doesn't it look good? And we're nice. gonna keep this on because just in a few minutes we're gonna have all the peppers in the jar and ready to go in the boiling water to seal them. Smells like vinegar and oregano. Alright, those are just about dry. Alright, so whatever batch you want to do first. Yeah, don't touch the, the hot batch. Don't touch the peppers. So, are we going to put extra honey in this batch since it's so hot? We can, but I ain't licking my finger this time. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> out there for the girl. Let me see. Where'd the honey go? Be right back. I got the honey. So, because we put such a spicy pepper, uh, we're going to make it a little more sweeter because that's how we like it. So we're going to put maybe an extra tablespoon so we're gonna, ooh, that's hot down there. Yeah. Erg. I'm gonna actually come over here so everybody can see what I'm doing. Okay, you do So that. I've got this going on. We're just putting all of the oh. peppers. Babe, you scared me. In the jar. Right up to the top. Works great. And then we're gonna fill this with our, with our liquid, with our brine. Yummy. I just want to make sure this is all incorporated and getting some seasoning in it. Oh yes, that's all. Put the honey down and don't lick it this time. Got it. Alrighty then. 
it got real quiet in here now that all our kids. Man, we have a lot of kids, guys. All right, there's this one. And I'm pretty sure we're going to need two batches of that. We so that's our, might need another batch of it, yeah. That's our first batch for this I'm one. We're thinking it a little extra sweet. It's almost boiling. Almost. And while you're working on that, I'm going to work on the second batch. Yep. You go ahead and put another batch. You go, is that a two cupper? Yeah. Okay, good. She's just going to do another whole thing minus a thing of honey. Come on, you can do it. Maybe I shouldn't watch it, you know, that old saying, uh, watch pot never boils. <sighs> it needs privacy. I'm not even measuring. I'm sorry, sister. You're not, not measuring? It's okay. You get to eat them peppers. Mm-mm. <laughs> right. Cooking like our family does all the time without the measure. That's why you don't need the numbers on your measuring spoon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's get some honey in there. Tablespoon. Yeah, about that much. <laughs> yeah, about that much. <laughs> uh that was a measuring right? spoon. It looks good to me. Did you get your salt in there? Yep, it's in there. Salt, parsley, basil, my uh, peppercorn. Oregano and basil. Oh, oregano and basil. If sorry. you put parsley in it, you really are eating it. Yeah, sorry. I saw the parsley on the shelf right next to it, so. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm thinking this brine is about ready. All right, well, this one's got ready to go in there next. Okay, well you got a, a jar we're going to pour this in. All right, let's do this. Let's set this up to where we can actually see. Can we see better? Put this honey away. Okay, guys. I'll pour that one in there. So, do you need a funnel? Actually, maybe I should so I don't hurt myself. My funnel's over that way. It's always safe to, safer to do a funnel. Yeah. It is always. There, we, there go. we go. And we just... And I still spilt it. Guys. Slow her down. Well, maybe we won't, won't need a second one. Hold on, let some air come out. Yeah, I think that's full. Ooh. Doesn't that look delicious? I got a lot of the seasonings in it. We can it's scoop right. out some of them peppercorns, put it in there. Yeah. They all sink to the bottom. Well, well, they said no. They are all trying to float away from the spoon. It, she all got right, well, two. I got two. There's a whole little pile of baby, 30 of them in here, and they none of them want to come out. It so. said no. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Well, I think it's going to be just fine. You want to fill it right up to the top? Yeah. Let me see about this. All right, if it spills a little bit, we can clean up the counter. Just a little vinegar. Okay, right up to the top. See it? And then we're going to put a lid on that sucker. And, <coughs> woo, vinegar. Where do you want your pot? Um, you want me to just dump the rest? Just dump that one right in there, I guess. Yep, and we'll just uh, add to it. Looks like it's much different. You don't need to make it super tight um, because once it's sealed, you can take this rim off 
and this will keep it sealed. Yep. This doesn't have to be super tight. It'll pull itself nice and tight closed. more brine so we can get the other stuff. Now we're going to pause right there so we can let this stuff um, boil and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So if you look at this guy, he's been sitting here for a couple minutes. It's already changing colors. We haven't even sealed him yet. Not even sealed yet. Looking lovely though. And we're about to put our brine in this one. Okay. Let's put this guy in the sink. I'm coming for him. To put Ooh, that was vinegary. Let me just pour our brine. Ooh, getting a little overzealous. I'm waiting for little air bubbles to come out of the peppers. Yeah, oh, there you go. Knock on that thing. There they are. They're coming out boop, boop, now. Boop, boop. It says usually to like kind of bang on it, yeah, like that. Right. But sometimes, you know, that's a little dangerous to do with very extremely hot liquids. And it's peppers. I got pepper corns. Mm -hmm. Cause these are delicious. There you go. Ooh, that stuff's strong. Okay, we have extra brine. All right. I'm going to set it in your water sink. tonight is going on in there. Or do you want me to put it on your stove? All right. Let's put this here. That's good. Um, I need a lid for this guy. Hold on. I'm kidding. I got it right here. Okay. They were on the other side of the kitchen. Mm-hmm. I was backwards. All right. Okay, now we need to put some in here. Where's this our guy. little... We're all backwards now. Yeah, I moved everything over. So this water's already boiling. We left it boiling from earlier. And we're going to need more water. Yep. Or a much smaller pot. <laughs> we're going to use bigger jars on our next adventure. So. I think we could use something to fill the rest of that in. Yeah. If you would like to watch them, usually you can't through the water. But sometimes you'll see little bubbles going up from the bottom of your jar. And that's just its way of sucking the little bit of air out that it has. Which isn't much. So here's our jars here. These are My face is still not happy. Oh, oh. You know, we could take a little walk through the yard while that's boiling. Okay. Yeah, we got about 20 minutes. So, Sarah wants to take a, a walk through the garden. It's right outside. And we'll show you what else is growing out there. I think I might have got some pepper in my eye. All right here is burning. Mama. Oh, boy. Okay, here's your phone. What, baby girl? It's a pretty long video today. I'm going to edit it, though. But, uh... Oh. I'm just gonna go We're peek. Gonna... Ooh. <laughs> Pepper! Pepper dog! Pepper dog! Pepper dog! Hi, Pepper! Hi, Pepper! Hi, Pepper! The yard looks wonderful know. today. It's a little uh, humid out. But that's because we just had a pretty big rain, and I think another one might be coming. Yeah, we haven't been watering because it's been raining we have had the weirdest weather this year it's really messed with a lot of our grow times and harvest times yeah, it's everything off and I think that's another reason why we didn't pull up these cantaloupes when they fell into the dirt because um, you know what why not why not have some late in the year cantaloupe I'm just in here pulling oh, some weeds out. How cute for you, little bitty moth. Let's see what you got in here. We got see some blossoms. Little bitty flat. Oh, that one's got quite a bit in there. Mm -hmm. 
Hopefully it's going to have a lot of cantaloupe this year. Oh boy. I'll have to send my children over. Oh boy. Because uh, they will eat it like it's nothing. <laughs> oh, baby girl, you and your animals. Oh, I've kept that. I love oh, some more tomatoes it. coming on again. Yeah, so I just harvested a bunch of tomatoes yesterday, and everything that is red today was was not even slightly red yesterday. But we still are getting them splitting like this from the rain. The rain's really killing them. It wasn't nice yesterday either. It came out of nowhere. Yeah, see the bottom? Yeah, this oh. is what happens when when it rains out. It splits our stuff right in half. And it makes for not such a great harvest. Are you saving your corn stalks to make a maze? Um, we're just kind of letting them chill there for now. There's a know who might get lost in there. We're going to be pulling most of <laughs> most of this out. I think we haven't done anything really yet because the okra is still growing big and strong in this bed. Oh, yeah. So we're just leaving the corn. The corn's done. I mean, this is, that we're not going to eat that. Really so, yeah, you know, we have pulled some stalks out, but. Oh, there's a corn right here, but it's, I don't, mm, I yeah, we've already pulled and right. eaten all the corn. <laughs> yeah, the rest of it, uh, Compost. Hmm. What is this? Sissy. Huh. Ew. What are you doing? There's some kind of crystals or whatever right there, too. There's just all kinds of stuff in the garden. I'm always ooing. Ooing and on. Violet Rose, you are so loud. I love you dearly, baby girl. This thing's grown a lot since I trimmed it last. No kidding, look at the sprouts in it. Yeah. I think your eggplants are nasty on this vine over here. Yeah, the eggplants. I checked, I cut a whole bunch off yesterday too, so this one went bad literally overnight. Darn it. Worse than an avocado. And that one I was hoping Bye. would heal, but it didn't. Violet. bunch of tomatoes out of here. We still have a ton in there. I mean. Oh my goodness, there's a ton, tree and don't let Violet see ton, those. A ton. There's like all the ones up here. You can't even reach those. <laughs> Violet, look, Aunt Sarah's growing you some more yellow tomatoes. I know, excited, huh? We got these guys. They're done for the year too. But they are beautiful when they first start. And all summer. Oh, well, I guess my sister can reach. Here you go, baby. You guys want a tomato? Good I'm the oldest and the shortest sister. <laughs> yeah, baby, you can eat them. They're yellow. They're supposed to be yellow tomatoes. Mm -hmm. yellow Is it delicious? Tomatoes. Yeah, the rain, it got too much rain, so it split. Yep, it's okay. Go ahead and eat it. Let's see if I can find me one. We have a bunch more peppers, too. <coughs> that window. Oh, that one's still a little too green. We if you eat them when they're not ripe. A bunch of peppers on here. This one's close to being ready. Oh, you know what? It looks like we have had some friends come and chew the ends of these squash off. Hmm. Anyway. This one's got a ton of beautiful peppers on it. These are pretty sweet. Another one. And those are actually hot when they get red. I think that's what's really choking us up. Yeah. 
<laughs> darn red one. I think I might have to go on the other side, baby, because they're all over, over there. These are all green still, baby. All right, well, we're going to go back in the house and check on our, oh, our stuff them? that's boiling. Still pretty far up. And all the kiddos are so going to hang out out here in the garden. Can you reach them up there? You Things are so here? big now. Baby. <laughs> more babies coming. Yeah, more babies coming outside. <coughs> Just peeking, making sure they're all good after the rain. Nothing's getting soggy. Okay, hold on. Alright. Let's go check on our water that's boiling. Just about done. pause right here for a moment okay everyone we're gonna wrap this video up um, you want to hold the camera I can hold so it. they all kind of floated to the top they've been boiling for 20 minutes as you can see the color has changed all the red ones are kind of orange now and all the green ones are kind of yellow and we're just gonna put them in a rack over there and the they will just cool and as they're cooling their little seal will be sucked down and it'll seal itself and then you can store them up to two years in your cupboard. That doesn't mean put them in the sunlight and the windowsill or anything because that doesn't help preserve it in a cupboard. Yeah, it's got to be in a cool, dry, dark place. Yes. All right, All right so and then we're done. This video. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, and thank you my sister for helping she's still on fire she's I still am. burning i'm still burning um, please like comment share and subscribe bye guys